This installation video shows how to install the Cubot drive assemblies on the Phoenix frame. Right now we're looking at the Y-axis drive assembly and the installation on the frame. You can see right here on the frame there are two existing holes, one here and one here. You place a, the screw that comes in the kit through the frame and then attach the bracket that comes in the kit and then finally attach it with two nuts right here and there. And that will be the installation of the bracket. Then in the kit there's another couple of screws, one for here, it's an inch and a half long quarter twenty screw, an aluminum spacer right here to space the drive assembly off of the bracket, and then a nut back here. And then you tighten that front and back. Then for the y-axis drive wire bracket, we have a bracket right here that attaches on either end of the carriage. This is on the back and you use the existing two screws. Here is the turnbuckle for the drive wire. The drive wire attaches onto the bottom of the drive wheel and I'll zoom in here for you. It attaches to the bottom of the drive wheel and is wrapped twice around the drive wheel. And then at the front end there is the same type of bracket where the wire attaches there. The x-axis drive assembly bracket attaches to the lower carriage using two one and one eighth inch long spacers, aluminum spa spacers right here. You take out the original screw that holds the wheel then replace it with a two inch long quarter twenty screw through the bracket right here, through this spacer and then through the wheel and then screw it right back into the original threaded hole in the carriage. You do that on the right and left hand sides of the frame. Then you attach the drive assembly to the bracket using two one inch long quarter twenty screws and associated nuts that are on the back and kind of out of view. There you can see it. Now the drive wire for the x-axis mounts on two brackets on the end of the frame. You use the original screw here, you remove that screw, place the the x-axis drive wire bracket and then tighten that screw and you do that on either end. The wire wraps twice around the drive wheel and I'll zoom in here. The wire wraps twice around the drive wheel and comes off the top of the wheel. Then at the other end it connects with the turnbuckle to the other drive wire bracket and then you tighten the barrel of the turnbuckle only to increase the tension in the drive wire so you get a nice tone like that. 